Hello and welcome back to part two of three of monitoring Aruba CX switches in HPE Green Lake Aruba Central. So let's now go across to the summary view here. So I'll just click on this tab here and this takes us to a summary view. Now this summary view, uh, very similar to the graph that we saw earlier in the site health, uh, just shown in a different way. So on the left, we have the blue line, which tells us our data in on that site. And the orange graph below is a data that's been going out of that site as an aggregate information uh, you can notice the scale also is sort of um, normal here but then it uh, goes from zero but upwards in a downward fashion so we can see both graphs at the same time and again we've got the view of the clients over a period as well in this active graph um, you notice on the right here that this value changes so you can read it quite easily um, then if we scroll down a bit further to the bottom we have our top clients and we can click on say this client here and this will take us to our client connectivity and we can see immediately that we have a client connected as a visual uh, to this port 312 we have a bit of fingerprint information here so we've got obviously it's a wired client we've got the mac address it's picked up it's a windows system possibly windows 8 or 10 when it was connected since and we can see that it's picked up that it's a hewlett packard device um, and also the port information is provided here we also have an action box over here where we can bounce the interface or do a PoE bounce, which if you had a PoE device on here, we could uh, bounce it as well, which I don't have now, but that's useful to know. So back to our site health overview, I'm now going to have a look at some AI Insights. So I'm going to click on the AI Insights tab and that brings us to the AI Insights. Now for Aruba CX switches, today we support uh, four uh, major types of AI Insights, which is high CPU utilization and high memory usage. And then we have excessive port flaps or errors and we also support poe problems so uh, looking at the ai insights for this site we can see that we've had some excessive port flaps and we've also had some uh, a number of unusual port errors which is great we've we can see that visually without even logging on to any switches so if I then drill down by clicking this carrot on the port flaps, I can see a bit more detail around what might be causing my issues. So I have a layer one issues and I have a recommendation uh, possibly to run some cable diagnostics. If I hover over, I get some more information. It could be ignore because these are admin initiated uh, flaps possibly shutting and no shutting an interface also some possible layer two issues and it's suggesting we can have a look in the cli or look at some arm on events we also see that uh, we have a graph which showing some port flaps uh, over specific dates of the week we can see um, we can see also in the highlight that it's impacting one switch um, and it's of a low error effectively uh, because it's in this uh, yellow 
color and it's consistently seems to be one switch so as we go further down we can see that the insight is saying it's one switch impacted uh, here so i'm going to click on the switch dialog uh, to see some information now, as soon as i uh, do that we can see that it's actually um looks like i've had quite a lot of flaps over time um, and then also we can see the actual name of the specific switch now i can also if i had multiple switches it'd be useful but we've only got the one switch has got an issue i can click this carrot and i can see the switch obviously but i can look at the switch model and firmware version so we can then see it gives us a bit more detail it's one switch that's impacted and it gives us it's a 6405 and it gives us the product information and we can see what firmware as well we can see it's 1010.2 uh, we can also look at the port in question and immediately we get the port which is port 131 on the switch that's being impacted now I can go to the circle of either of these uh, port flaps to get uh, so this port information or the switch information uh, to further get linked to that specific switch so I could look at it so I'm going to click inside this circle and immediately it gives me a bit more information um, it tells me the switch it um, excuse me click on that it tells me the switch the number of flaps ports impacted the switch and the firmware version um, similarly i can click on the port uh, here when i click on the port it tells me the port and it gives me some useful information and tells me uh, what the end device that's connected and i can also see because of a fingerprinting that i'm actually got a aruba access point connected to that switch so that gives us an ability to give an insight on that specific uh, switch uh, and make appropriate remedial action based on the information that we've been provided. So now we're back at Site Health and Overview. The next thing I'd like to briefly look at is topology. So if we click on the topology, we get a topology view of our specific site. Uh, we can see overlays. Uh, we can see the VLANs. So we get a list of VLANs at that site. Uh, let's uncheck that. We can show the device names or not. So we toggle that. We can filter uh, specific things in the topology. For instance, I can get rid of uh, thing devices without links. If I do that, we'll see that the gateway and a stack switch disappeared at the bottom. Uh, let's put those back in uh, we can also see uh, oh, by let's remove that filter drop down we can also see left to right orientation which is shown here which is the default view or we can see a top down view as well you can also adjust uh, the topology as you would like to see it uh, then we can also see some details about some devices so we can look at specific links we click on the links and we get some information about that specific link i.e we can see it's a lag uh, what ports are uh, involved uh, the interface uh, serial number um, etc etc uh, we can also then click on a specific uh, device that brings up a dialog box 
and we can show some details around that device and as you can see picked up the model its IP uh, it's being managed by and its name so that's a brief overview of the topology be sure to catch part three of three the final part in this monitoring series